Hi, this is Barb, and I'm back with another album to share with you. Uh, this one, it's another 8x8. Eight eight. Uh, cover measures 8.5x8 eight and, eight and one quarter. And I did this one using a K and Company paper. And they really don't put like a collection name on it. This one just says that it's designer floral paper Susan Wing it. So there is the front. So you might be able to identify it. I've also used some of the accompanying pieces. These are dimensional um, stickers. And these are like an epoxy uh, little stickers with um, oh things like peacefulness, timeless, things like that. And I also used the adhesive borders. Okay, so here's the book. And I've titled this one Love and Laughter. Um, it's got a ribbon closure. And as a, a just kind of like a decoration, I've used a, a pearl and rhinestone buckle with a piece of ribbon looped through it. And these are all fussy cut designs out of one of the sheets of paper and I've glued those on. And this is a silver metallic trim. And on the spine I added one of the adhesive borders. And there's the back. And this book uh, is actually a remake of one of my wedding albums, the one that um, I have named uh, just Elegant Wedding Album. And I've had a lot of requests for a tutorial from that one, so I decided to, I had to remake it in order to do that. So this is it. And the inside cover has a double pockets and two photo mats. This is a good sized one. And another one here. And over here, uh, this is a magnetized flap. It's got some rhinestone swirls here. It opens there. Nice big area here. And a small pocket with two more photo mats. And there's another um, adhesive border. Um, these are die cut corners. I'll, I'll list all of the die cuts that I've used in this one. Uh, there are 12 pages and there, that means five pocket pages and they all have good sized photo mats in them. Actually seven and three quarters square. Okay over here we have a trifold. There's a flower here with some more of the rhinestone bling. And he's just open. And this is a frame that's open here that you can slide a photo inside. I believe it's four and a half by three. Not real sure. <laughs> inside, I've just made some corners here to hold a photo mat. And I've just cut out some butterflies from scrap, leftover scraps, and glued them on. Okay, and this one's a magnet. Opens like this. And again, another little piece of the adhesive border. Now, there are some differences in the book, of course, from the wedding one, um, mainly the embellishments because of the difference in the paper. Okay, here, this flips up. And comes down. And over here. Now, this flap in the wedding album had a pocket on the front of it, but 
after I used this paper, I just, uh, it was too pretty to cover up, so I didn't put the pocket on there. There's a pocket inside, and two more photo mats. Nice large one here. And I cut this out of the paper and added it as a, a little pocket. Okay, this one double flaps, opens up this way. Another border. And this opens like this. And this is a, a die cut frame and I've also, that is open to slide a photo in. There's a good size pocket here and two more photo mats. Okay, over here. Uh, this opens out. Again, some more rhinestone. And another photo mat. And this is another trifold. This one's held down with swing tabs. And this one pulls out instead. And there's a photo mat tucked in behind. This will hold a lot of photos. Um, I believe I counted 80. And most of those would be full size. 4x6. Plenty of opportunity for 5x7s also. Again, added two of the corner pieces that I've made. Another photo mat. Another one of the pockets. And two more mats. Uh, this page I, I made different from the wedding one. Uh, the wedding book had this basic piece but it was a fixed piece on the page. Um, it also opened like this, and that's all it did. Uh, this is a removable photo mat. But this one, I couldn't help myself and had to add something a little bit different. So this one, the flap opens out. And another frame here. And the last page just has a, a three-page waterfall, and it has the ribbon, ribbon closure on, a, on another one of the buckles. So lots of room here. And that's it for this book. As I said, the, uh, the tutorial will be available in my Etsy shop. And you can use it to make either this book or um, the wedding album. Both are interchangeable with it. The, the pages are the basic page style. So again, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.